So now we're gonna focus on APCs. So APCs is antigen presenting cells. So these are like the custodians, if you would say, of the human body, right? So they're the custodians. So here, when we're working on these actual cells, one main function is they're constantly surveillance, the constant surveillance that's taking place in the body, right? So this constant surveillance that is created allows for some kind of protection, right? So the different types of APCs that we'll be talking about here, the professional APCs, the first two, which are the very standard, are the dendritic cells, which are the more potent, and the macrophages. So these two cells are, phag are phagocytic. They engulf any kind of foreign protein, right? But rather than treating some kind of immun uh, immunogenic response in order to just allow for the attack, a lot of these dendritic cells and macrophages, what they do is they engulf this protein, describe and identify whether it's self or non-self, and they feel that it's a problem, right? So some kind of threat. These specific cells, dendritic and macrophages, begin to migrate to the site of origin, so some kind of lymphatic tissue, and activate a cell-mediated response or a humoral response, depending on what the pathogen is, what the reaction is requiring, right? So they're phagocytic cells, right, that they take all this information to the immune system. They express both the MHC1 and 2 complex, right? So MHC1 is the uh, complex where it is present in all all of, our, all of our cells in our body. MHC2 is only specific to the APCs. Antigen presenting cells only have this MHC2 reaction, right? And the second, well, this is the one too, the, the third type of APC are the, and they're, again, they're professional antigen presenting cells and they are useful, right? But they're not as effective as the dendritic and the macrophages are the B cells. B cells, again, another function of B cells is they generate antibodies through the plasma cells after the, after the differentiation process takes place. And they, again, too, express both MHC1 and MHC2 receptors, right? And that's really important for these two specific uh, groups, right? So the dendritic cells, which are phagocytic, B cells have some, in some tendencies of phagocytic nature, but majority of the cases, they do engulf cells, but the most effective are the dendritic and the macrophages that are present. Other type of atypical APCs are, for example, the mast cells, eosinophils, basophils. These are also another type of atypical antigen-presenting cells, but the most commonly used is these. And the uniqueness about these dendritic cells now is they can be a huge advantage for the body in order to preserve or prevent any kind of, of infection or uh, path, path, any kind of pathology, right? So these dendritic cells have been utilized a lot now for a lot of immunotherapies. So a lot of vaccines that people are using for preserving any kind of immunity, a lot of cancer immunity, has been utilizing these dendritic cells for any kind of prevention or any kind of treatment for any kind of cancers.